Fighting out of the red corner, his home is Jacksonville, Florida. Fighting out of Tallahassee. Please, ladies and gentlemen, trained by John Jackson. He's had 28 fights, 25 wins, 21 by KO, two losses, and one draw. Here to make some amends, ladies and gentlemen, Nate Campbell! And his opponent needed no introduction, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing solid white with black trim. He weighed in at 59.5 kilograms, born in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Fighting way of St. Louis, Missouri. Simon Hillman, Bob Tyler, Nico Williams, recorded no sharp, Justin John Doering. Both your shrills are uh, just about right, but he's okay, and he's okay. All right, no lower. Keep your punches up, keep your heads out of it, break when I tell you to break. Neutral corners there and the one behind me. Shake hands, good luck, protect yourselves at all times. Judges, some sex to Ignatius, Miss Alidia, Brian Gary. Referee in charge when the bell rings. Ladies and gentlemen, the action starts, Mr. John. Okay, Johnny Wright gives the final instructions. It's the 10-point must scoring system. No standing eight count. No free knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight if we get into any of those accidental headbutts. I'll explain the rules for you as it becomes pertinent to this fight. Right away, you see Nate Campbell going to work with that jab in the face of Robbie Peden. Peden tries to close the gap. Kind of faints with that right hand. Now he lets it fly. It sails over the shoulder of Nate Campbell. Campbell, this is the way he wants to fight it on the inside. But Peden cracks it the inside. Trying to make a statement in the early going. Peden's taking the fight right up to him and nailed him with a good right hand. He certainly wants to exert his uh, authority here in the opening second. Nice side-to-side -side movement. That's the training of Roger Bloodworth and the good sparring that uh, Robbie Peden has got leading up to this fight. Remember, he worked a lot with uh, young Michael Casitas, and then did great work for both of them. Fantastic work. But I'll tell you what, you couldn't get much better work than Nate Campbell's had with Shane Mosley. He's been sparring. His main sparring partner has been <laughs> Shane Mosley. That's for sure. Nate uh, hangs that hand a little bit low, that left hand, and he is a good right-hand target for Robbie Feeden. Feeden kind of forcing the fight right now as uh, Nate waits back on his heels, falls out with the left hand. Robbie waits now. Now he goes forward, falls short, very quick on his feet. This is Nate Campbell. This is round number one, scheduled for 12. This is the 130-pound championship of the world. The favorite son of Australia, Robbie Feeden, coming forward in the white trunk. That's Nate Campbell facing you right now. Robbie with his back here. Gets touched up by Nate, and now here's Robbie right back with a couple of cracks of his own. Nate comes off the ropes, adjusts those trunks, and what is Robbie waiting for? Robbie's looking very confident, though. He's, he's waiting for an opportunity. He's landed one good right hand. He just threw a left hook right hand there. I think Robbie Peden's looking extremely confident. Yeah, and there's the uh, stern instructions of John Wright. He says, get out. Now, box. You know what I was referring to, though, when I saw Nate go to those trucks. I hate to see a fighter wait and allow his opponent to adjust his uh, equipment. For sure, if he, if he gives you an opportunity, you've got to grab it. But I'll tell you, a good shot from Robbie Peden. I think he's dictating in this, uh, this opening round. Yes, he is dictating the opening round. He faints a nice uh, jab that was thrown out by Nate. Robbie up on his toes, faints down again, waiting to throw the right hand. Instead, he ties up on the inside. Let's see if anyone blasts while they're on the inside. Robbie hits him up on the back, but nothing too serious. Robbie showing nice side-to-side uh, -side movement, rolling the shoulders, touching him up with the left hand, but he's going to let that right hand fly. On the inside, this is what Campbell would like to fight some of the fight. But you know something? I think Robbie's been more effective on the inside than the, in the first fight. Definitely he has. He's, he's boxing very well in close. He's, he's uh, giving Campbell angles. He's 
coming up with his left jab. He's boxing very, very well in his opening round. Oh, he loaded up the right hand with Nate hanging that left hand low. He was wide open for the right hand power shot. And that's there all night for Robbie. Yep. Robbie's winning this first round in my score sheet, I'll tell you that. He's going to be a nice first round. Steps up with a stiff jab that puts the head back in Nate. Nate can't seem to get off real good. Now they say that he throws the right hand. Both guys miss wild shots. Good round for Peden as we come up to the bell for the first round. The first round of the championship fight is definitely Robbie Peden. An excellent first round for Robbie Peden. And that is a real confidence builder for him now. Yes, definitely a big confidence builder. Nate Campbell seemed a little bit unsure of himself to me there, Bob. He, uh, he you know, he didn't know what he should be doing, loading up or, or boxing or fighting up close, whereas Robbie Peden had a dead set game plan. I'll tell you this, in comparison to the last time I saw Robbie fight, and I saw him very early in his career, this guy is a much, much improved fighter. I mean, he looks like a champion to me tonight. He looks very good. He looks very classy in that opening round. A long way to go, though. This is championship time, 12 rounds. This is only round number two. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan working with me, Barry Michael and Paul Up of doing our interviews. You heard the opportunity to have both promoters. Tony Caradon and Glenn Wheatley dropped by at different times during the course of the fight. We're at the Vodafone Arena in Melbourne, Australia. And once again, I thank my sponsor, Qantas Airlines, for making it possible for me to be here. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you're watching around the world. Round number two from Melbourne, Australia. Robbie Peden of Australia in the white trunks. Nate Campbell in the multicolored trunks from the United States. Right in the center of the ring. This is a big ring, 24-foot uh, ring it is. But you said they could fight it in the phone booth, and that's pretty much the truth, sir. Yep, it could I'll tell you, a good right hand from Campbell, but Peden threw four punches back, even the score. But Peden's yeah, they... hand speed looks uh, just short of extraordinary right now at this stage in round number two, but uh, I think Nate is going to be a guy that wants to land a one big blast if he can. Robbie can be hit to the left side of his head, too. So Robbie is doing a lot of nice side-to-side -side movement, rolling those shoulders and coming back to his right more, trying to stay away. As I say that, of course, he's circling to his left, but he, he'll move off to the right to avoid that power of Nate. Nate trying to sneak off the left shoulder. Oh, he hit Nate with the left hook! Lovely little left hook. I'll tell you what, though, Robbie's, Robbie's got very side on. He's making a very hard target to hit at this stage. Oh, yeah, his movement is excellent. His defense is terrific. And that's oh. one of the things they score. At that time, he stepped up into the jab. Oh. They loaded up the right hand and just grazed the jaw. Now this fight opens up. We're going to appear sixer right now. No, Robbie Peden believes he can put him away. Believe me, he shouldn't be drawing in too much of a slugfest, but he's doing very, very well. Very confident Robbie Peden at this stage. Extremely confident. And he bags to the inside. Now Nate says, I'll have none of that. And he wants to load up his right hand. But Robbie comes with a whole different garage of bunch of uppercuts on the inside. And Johnny Wright has a really scream. Keep him up, guys. Keep the hands up. Oh, Look, Robbie Peden was hurt. Look at him load up that shot. Robbie Peden walked into a big right hand there. He wobbled for a second. They both threw right hands at the same time, and Campbell landed cleanly, and it actually shook Robbie Peden up. It looks like Robbie's knees are a little bit loose right now, so he's got to be careful because Campbell is dangerous. And oh, oh there it is he again. Staggered. He staggered him again. Yes. Caught him with a good shot, and he staggered Robbie just a bit. His legs aren't totally there. He's got lead in his heels, and his knees are wobbly. This is a very good round now. Suddenly, for Nate Campbell with a minute to go. And now Nate is getting the confidence as Robbie has to sort of hang on. Robbie's got to watch the right hands. Both boys tangled up and fell over there, but Robbie Peden is getting hit with the right hands. He was hurt twice. He was hurt, he, he was hurt with that first shot in there, and then the power shot again by Nate Campbell. Someone's going to lose points in a minute, I'm telling you, all right? Come on, box. You hear the warning of John Wright, who is in command. And this could be a very rough and tumble fight, so I'm glad to see John Wright, the experience. Actually, he's in his fourth world title fight, but he's done a ton of fights down here in Australia. He sure has, but I'll tell you what, getting back to the fight, Robbie Peden can't afford to be nailed with right hands like that. Oh, he can. Nate rolls that time and avoided the right hand of Robbie Peden. Robbie's legs aren't 100% there right now. I'll tell you this right now. You see a little staggery there? Yep, yep, yep. Nice and shot by a director. I'm glad that you got that shot because it shows how loose he is. That's a wrap for Nate Campbell. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. This is uh, good punching from Robbie Peden. Oh, good, lovely left hook from Peden. He did some good stuff that round. Lovely left hook again. But a couple of big right hands from Robbie Peden. 
Bob, I, I, you know, I think you scored it for Nate Campbell. But Robbie was hurt there with two shots. But I really think if you looked at the amount of scoring punches, Robbie Peaton would have landed more over the round. But he dead set was wobbled badly twice. But, you know, that's a good point that we can discuss here now. And that's where the, the punch dead that they use and seem to, you know, give so much emphasis to in scoring in the United States. And I don't give it that credence. Professional boxing is about the hurt business. And at no time was Campbell hurt in that round. Even though you're absolutely right. He was hit by more punches. Yep. Robbie was staggered twice. Yep. Therefore, I, I gave the round yeah, to uh, Nate Campbell. And I can understand that, too. I really can. And if that's the case and the judges agree, this is a dead-even fight going to the break, which makes it a dead, huh? Robbie Peden's got to be careful. That right hand's dangerous. It's very dangerous. That time, Robbie got off with a pretty good left hook that uh, spun the head of Nate. But Nate has a lot more confidence now. Stop, and if you stop, notice, stop. he's loading up shots now, Barry Mike. Yeah, he's loading up. The, the first round, he looked a bit lost, but now he's had success in the second round. And there it is again. Wow, that was close. Sneaky he's... right hand lead, but luckily for Robbie, he was rolling his head with that shot and didn't take the full brunt of that right hand as uh, Robbie was spinning his head to the right. I'll tell you this, Nate has definitely got the attention of Robbie. And this is going to be a very, very tough fight for both men before it's all over. Somebody's going to get knocked out. This thing isn't going yeah. to No, I agree. It's not going the distance. Robbie Peden's got to keep that chin down. When he jabs, Campbell comes in with the right hand over the top. There it was again. Well, he's inside, and he's got his hands down hitting the body yep. of Nate, and that's exactly where Nate wants to fight this fight. If he can have him hitting his body and have his hands free upstairs, he can blast Peden. Nate with a looping right hand catches Robbie. This is a difficult round to score with just a little over a minute gone. Not a lot between the two, but look at the power punches that uh, Campbell's actually landing in this round. That may be the difference so far in the first sort of minute and a half of this uh, third round of the fight. Now Peden comes back, and Campbell just slips his punches, just sliding that head left and right. Good, good left hand work by Peden. He's got to be careful when he uses that left hand. That's Campbell sweating on the right hand. But right now, Campbell has picked up the pace, and he's beating Robbie Peden to the punch right now. Robbie misses again. Then he gets uh, the left hook right back as he's counted by Nate. Nate blows up the right hand, whistles past the jaw of Robbie Peden. And you are so right about, look at him hanging that left hand. That's a dangerous yeah, it's, it's for that very dangerous. hand to be. Very dangerous. Robbie, he's got his work cut out for him, I'll tell you. Yeah, this round's a better round for Campbell. I think Campbell's really beginning to take command in this round. Robbie's going to do something extraordinary to turn this round back in his favor in the last minute of the round. See, the pit of pat punches now, and Campbell has no fear right now of the punching power that Peden showed in the first round. It's take him out, okay? A little bit of frustration by Campbell as referee John Wright says, keep your hands up. And you can just see the frustrating look on his face. But you're fighting this guy's backyard. You better pay attention to fighting Nate Campbell and not worry about what the ref is saying. True, yeah. Nate wants to keep his eye on Robbie Peden. He doesn't want to take his eye off him when he looks at the table of his last fight. But uh, Nate Campbell looking to load up there. Robbie moving fast, moving, using the ring. Is that movement again there? Robbie did get a nice left hand through there, but I don't think it's enough to steal the round off Nate. He tries to finish strong. He blasts him, the body catches him upstairs in the head. Yeah. Closing seconds down the third round, and you hear John really on Campbell about low blows. And I've seen low blow yet myself. Well, I, I think, you know, they're hitting the protector, but I don't call them low blows. They're definitely in the scoring area the way I see it. I need to have a look at it in slow motion, but I don't see that they're below the belt line, Bob. Who did you give that round to? Oh, I think Nate Campbell got yeah, that round. Yeah, I gave it to Campbell as well. Heavier punches, heavier punches. Uh, Robbie did some good stuff, but he was he was caught by too many right hands again. Unofficially, I've got a 29-28 in favor of Campbell after three. But we have the tie official, Sam Suck zero at Ignatius uh, Missalitas and Brian Gary of the United States doing the official. Next time you're gonna lose a point, okay? Okay. And there's a warning about any more what he's calling low blows that he's going to take a point away. And that is going to be frustrating for Nate. Oh, for sure, because he's a great, terrific body puncher. We need to see a bit of that in slow motion. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of the grabs of that. But uh, if it happens again, I'm sure we will. All right, this is round number four. Bob Sheridan with Barry Michael. All up, I'm handling the interviews. Or a lot of the color around the ring. This is round four and a uh, very, very close fight so far. Peden looked terrific in round number one. Then Campbell came on with power shots and actually staggered uh, Peden in the uh, second round. And then in the uh, third round, it was more of an even round. But Nate, I 
left side landed the more power punch. Now Peyton needs to watch that right hand. That right hand is dangerous. And it's Campbell knows he can land it and he's sweating on it. Good left, lovely left hand work from Robbie Payton. And again. Yeah, his left is working good. And the right hand is there too for Robbie yeah, to get it off. That was he good. touched him up with the left hand. Now Nate trying to go to that body again. But, you know, Peyton has got his protector so high that it, it's frustrating to Campbell because he's, he, you know, he's banging him on that protector. And John Wright is really on his back. Oh, how high the uh, protector is on the body of Robbie Peyton. I mean, it's really high. Now we got time call, and here. Nate Campbell is cut by the right eye, and let's get the official word if it's a headbutt or not. It's all right. Nate Campbell screamed that he headbutted him. I think it's all right. I'm not sure he's clean or not. As I said before, I noticed Nate Campbell had some scar tissue over those eyes. It's on the outside. It's a nasty cut, but the blood's not going to bleed into the eye. By the way, according to the rules... Was it a punch? Did you see it? Punch? Nate Campbell said it was a headbutt. We haven't got an official word. He called it a punch. So that, that, that's a significant difference now. And I, let me explain to you what that means for us. If it had been a headbutt, it would have gone to the scorecards. But in the case of a uh, clean punch causing the cut, it means that if you're stuck because of the cut, you lose the fight. Yep. So get that straight. If this fight is stuck after the fourth round, after the fourth round, because of that cut, he wins the fight, says Peyton. Robbie Peyton looking very confident here, boxing very well. And look, there were some heads crashing there, and Robbie Peyton's put them together beautifully here. Yeah, yeah. Peyton's having a terrific round. He's got uh, Nate really frustrated by the fact that he, in Nate's mind, he was headbutted, and the heads are coming together. Look, by my experience, Bob, 95% of punches are headbutts or elbows. Yeah. And heads were clashing up there. You know, I'd have to look at it in slow mo, but heads did clash, and uh, the cut, the cut uh, you know, appeared. Well, you know, you said in one of your uh, comments before the fight that the scarring tissue around the eyes of Campbell could be a factor in this fight. There's a pretty good right hand by Campbell, and there's an urgency of Campbell now to land some big right hands because the cut is in uh, a bad, bad... There's the heads coming together again, and now John Wright says step back. In that, in that case, it looked almost like Campbell did the butting, didn't it? The way he came in with his head down? Yeah, but they've got to be careful, these guys. We don't want to end in, the, in a disqualification or, or something like that. It's a terrific, clean fight at the moment. But as you said, Nate Campbell, a bit of desperation there from Campbell. And now John Wright uh, calls the doctor in. Now remember, if it stopped... No, I don't believe... Inside of four rounds, if it stopped inside of four rounds, it's a no contest. This fight is a no contest if it stopped before the end of the fourth round. So this round is very significant. That's an important rule for you folks to know. If this fight is stopped before the end of this round, this is no contest. Wouldn't that be dreadful? All right, now it's an official fight. Okay, Robbie Payton looked very confident as he went back to his corner. It was a big round for Robbie Payton. We're in Payton's corner. You've got to keep your clue now. The way you fought, the way you fought, the far, you understand? Don't get careless. Everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. Listen to me. That's it. Now you take a look at the way Campbell is complaining. He claimed it was a headbutt. But see that again, the official is actually asking us to take a look and tell if we can see. He'd like to know if we can see if it's a, a headbutt. Uh, he ruled it a, a punch, and actually all a referee can do is call what he sees. If he didn't see a headbutt, he's going to call it, uh, you know, an illegal, uh, a legal blow. And that's the way he ruled it. But right now, look, let's see how it goes as we go to the fifth round. If we've got a good cut man now. I had 300 stitches over my eyes after fights, so I never lost a fight on cuts. Where, where he's cut is where I used to used to cut. The blood will run down the corner of the eye and down the down the face. A good cut man will stop the bleeding, and it shouldn't it shouldn't impair 
Nate Campbell's vision at all. And let's hope that it doesn't stop this fight. Because this is a terrific fight. And that's from a guy who's had to have plastic surgery after being a former world champion in this very weight classification, 130 pounds. Look at Nate now. He's like a cat. He's after it. Some dangerous head work up there by both boys too. But uh, Nate Campbell looking desperate. Nate uh, is uh, showing some desperation. He still has a lot of power with both his left foot and his right hand as the blood trickles from that eye. Robbie Peden, all he's got to really do now, the punch has been classified, caused by a punch. Uh, the cut has been caused by a punch. All Robbie Peden needs to do is keep his cool and keep picking at that cut, keep working away, because Nate Campbell is in very frustrated territory at the moment. Nice sneaky jab inside there by Robbie Peden. Great round five, scheduled for 12. This is the World Super Featherweight Championship of the IBF. It's a 130-pound division. The IBF official is here, Ray Wheatley, watching on. Blood all over the face, puffiness underneath the left eye of uh, Nate Campbell, and the cut by the right eye. Yeah, Nate Campbell's otherwise not looking good at all. His eyes, are, his face is marked up noticeably. Oh, big blast for the right hand by Robbie Peden on the inside. Nate really frustrated right now. Being outboxed at the moment, Bob, he's been picked off, he's frustrated, and Robbie Peden's taking a big advantage of it, which is, you know, a credit to him. He's fighting a very smart fight at the moment, Robbie Peden. Robbie a little bit puffy underneath his right eye as well, but Nate has got to load up that right hand and hope he can hit it. His hands are coming down a little bit low, which means he's showing a little bit of fatigue in this bit right now. Part of that, as uh, you heard uh, Barry say, is frustration because uh, John Wright was on his case about sort of low blows that get him distracted a little bit then they what he called a headbutt but when referee john wright had to call a clean punch has had an effect on more or less the attitude and desire of nate campbell but you know you're a former champ you can't let that bother you you're in a fight this is the hurt business at the moment robbie peden's got this title in the bag i tell you nate campbell's only chance at this stage is to land that big bomb but robbie peden's doing a very good job at the moment yeah robbie's out boxing him here in the fifth round everything is sort of going his way he's got nate frustrated nate tries to land a shot in the body robbie's able to smother it Robbie turned this fight around. You see him push him off. This, he just wants to let uh, Campbell know, hey, you're in my back yet, fella. Have a look at Nate Campbell's face, Bob. It's a mess. His, his eyes are bad. Both, both eyes bleeding. There's the bell ending the fifth round. A good hand for me. Nice combination. That's a mean round. Nate Campbell looked very tired as he went back to his corner, too. Slumped into the stool. Bleeding from both eyes. Under, under the left eye, over the right eye. Actually, more of a lump under the left eye, but a lot of blood from the right eye. Should, should be able to be controlled quite easily. But Robbie Peden certainly boxing very, very well in that round, and, and uh, you know, looks like he's on his way to the championship of the world to me. Now, here's what we were trying to see. Uh, the heads did come. The heads did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the I, heads came together. I think, as I said, 95% of, of cuts from head butts or elbows, and I think it was definitely a head clash. But uh, let's hope we don't. Have, let's hope that that doesn't. There it is again. Look at that. Let's hope that's that, a head butt. Yeah, it was, I figured it was a head butt, Bob. But let's hope it doesn't have to come to a stoppage because of a, you know, a, a cut eye. Well, I hope it doesn't happen because it'll be controversial. It's yeah. not going to make any difference. The referee made the only ruling that he could make. He didn't see it as a as a, as a headbutt, so he has to call. Stop, stop. You know what he sees. All he can call is what he sees. You keep him up. I'm sick. One point. All right, now he's taking a point off Campbell. This is disastrous for Campbell. Now keep him up. I warned you before. Oh. Keep, listen, listen. You, it's a well title fight, you but Keep it clean and tidy. Come on. Come on. Well, besides the cut, now he's got the frustration of the low blow. And again, I point out in, in fairness that, that Peden has that protection very, very high. Hey, he's getting away with it. You get away with anything you can get away with. Yeah, you do. That's professional boxing. That's never a truer word than said. In that squared circle, you get away with whatever you can get away with. But you see, when he's hitting him with shots to the, the, I mean, the uh, the bottom ribs, it's it's hitting on that protector. And John has been on his case throughout the fight about that. I mean, guys like Julio Cesar Chavez made careers and, and shots a lot to 
Ireland, south of the border. So did I. Rugby bitch. That was and they my, knew you did. That was my best shot. That left hook to the liver. That's my best shot. Right. And the right drive to the body, but the left hook to the liver. But the best thing for Robbie Peden is everything is working in his favor right now. He's getting the call. He gets the point taken away from Camel, and that's as good as, as knocking him down in the round. All he has to do is continue boxing, which he's doing magnificently right now as he blasts the body of his uh, opponent, Nate Campbell. Campbell totally frustrated right now. Nothing working for him. No, nothing working for him. And he, he, I tell you what, he was breathing heavily at the, at the end of that round. He's very badly marked up around both eyes. He's, he's only one chance of, at this stage, I can see, is to, to land that big bomb of his. And I'll tell you, it's there because Robbie's hanging that left hand Ooh. and he doesn't want to take a chance. I mean, you can't get careless in a world title shot. Nate Campbell will tell you about uh, that. It happened in the fifth round of him. He dropped his concentration for just a second and Robbie jumped on him last time. And while everything is going Robbie's way right now, I mean, I gave Pete in the first round and they gave him four and five with uh, Campbell winning the second and third round. But the fact that uh, Campbell was cut in the fourth round and has lost the point for low blows here in the Sixth round. He's in uh, deep, deep trouble right now in terms of trying to pull out a victory by boxing in this fight. He really is in a lot of trouble, Nate Campbell. I'll tell you what, he's still got the punch there, though. Yes, Robbie he has. Pe Robbie Page has got to be careful. Yeah, Robbie is really doesn't want to get cocky. He just do what he's doing. He's out boxing the guy right now. Protect himself. Well, that, that was low. Yeah. That one was low. Yeah. Well, there I agree with John Wright. That was a low blow. So maybe John has seen a few things that we're not seeing. Possibly, yeah. But that was definitely a live battle. Now, you know, Campbell trying to unleash his right-hand power shot on the inside. He wanted to fight on the inside. But what's remarkable to me, Robbie's beating him to the punch. Oh, he's giving him plenty in there. Though. All right, there's the bell. Oh, what a well, that's a Peden round, 10-9. And then Peden gets an extra point, so it's a 10-8 round because in reality, so that's a 10-8 round. It was a big round for Robbie Pete. He looked very, very good. Well, he, appears to be, he appears to be getting stronger as the fight's going on, Robbie Pete. Yeah, everything is going his way right now. It's terrific for Robbie. But again, you pointed out, Barry, he can't get careless because Campbell's still dangerous. When you wound a, a, a tough character like Campbell, he's still dangerous. He's dangerous. One, one punch can, can finish this fight. Campbell tried the left hook of the body there and it wasn't low, it was a good shot. Peden pushed him off. Peden working very well with both hands. Nate, Nate should concentrate on his job, not worry about the referee as much. Try and pinpoint his punches. Yeah, he's really allowed the referee to frustrate him a yep. bit. We're at the Vodafone Arena in Melbourne, Australia. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan. With me, the former world champ at 130 pounds, Barry Michael. And we've got a dandy of a fight. Robbie Peden is out in front of my scorecard now, 58-55, based on winning the last three rounds, but also a point being taken away from Nate Campbell for low blows in the sixth round. Nate was cut back in the fourth round. A lot of puffiness underneath the left eye by the fifth round and into the sixth round. You know what? Nate really has the load up some shots here. He does. You know what it's noticeable, Bob? Uh, Peden was hurt in the second round a couple of times, but he hasn't really been badly shaken. Shaken noticeably since. He seems to have been have warmed up. His, his nervous system is warmed up. And he's got Campbell in trouble on the ropes here. He's hit him with a lot of shots. All right, here is Peden loading him up. Campbell doesn't want to sit back there. He comes with uppercuts of his own on the inside. But Robbie wants to try and keep him in there. He forces him with his back up there. And John Wright says, let me have a time called here. Let the doctor have another look at this cut. Remember the situation. If this fight is stopped now because of a cut, it's all over. This is a world title fight. All right, the doctor says I'm okay for the moment. This is a good boxing commission here in Victoria under the tutelage of Bernie Bama, who is the director of boxing here and does a nice job. Round seven continues. Loads up the right hand, does Campbell. It was ticketed to the left side of the jaw of Robbie Peden, but it didn't land, but it's still dangerous. Still dangerous. One shot like that could change the fight. Robbie still has a tendency, as I'm noticing, carrying that left hand low, and that can be dangerous. And you see Nate Campbell, who's a slick veteran, trying to sneak off that left shoulder of 
Peden, and he wants to throw that right hand. Peden doing a nice job in the inside, much better than I thought he could fight Nate on the inside. I'm very impressed. He's fighting very well on the inside. He's, he's, Look, he was shaking in the second, but he dominated the inside fighting thing. You know, he looks like he got another cut on the inside with the, uh, that was out the left eye. Oh. And this Campbell get caught again looking at the referee. Oh. Heaton banged him, and now he calls timeout again. And oh. the doctor will take another look because he's cut by the left eye as well. That was a punch over here. That oh, was a punch over there. Both eyes are punch bad now. Over here. Right here. I think he's going to let it go on. No, 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 no. no. Okay. You all right? Good. And the doctor says he's all right for the time being, but now he's cut by the uh, left eye. Nate Campbell's opportunity is slipping away. Robbie Peden's on his way to the championship of the world. Only one thing's going to turn around for Campbell, and that's a big KO victory. There's that arm in the face. That's an illegal that maneuver. He's totally frustrated, as you know, Barry. He's totally frustrated here. Nothing has gone his way. And Campbell just beating him up right now. I mean, uh, Peden beating up Campbell right now. He sure is. Just doing a great job. The heads bang off each other again. Partially, that's the problem of Nate Campbell. Because he's so weak right now. His head is down. Robbie, boy, he blows up the right hand. and just catches a bit of the nose. Campbell tries to come back. Robbie doing a nice job on the inside. Now Campbell, now Campbell comes back. Tries the nail him with shots, misses with the left hand, flicking the land with the big right hand. Bit of a low blow in the bell. That's another good round for Peden. Woo! What a round. Campbell landed some bombs there towards the end of that round. Robbie Peden wore him well, fired back right on the end of the round. Another big round for Robbie Peden. End of round seven, Robbie Peden. The world title is virtually, it's so close within his grasp. Only one way could he lose this, and that's by a one-punch knockout. It, I can, it's the only way I can see he can lose it at the moment. He, he's just that far in front, and Nate Campbell's in lots of trouble. Well, he's four points ahead with five rounds to go. That's a comfortable lead. Good punching from Robbie Peden. Got Nate Campbell pinned against the ropes. Campbell fires back with a couple of good sh head shots on the corner here. Good left hook. Robbie Peden, relentless though. Absolutely relentless. And that goes, uh, oh. Barry, to the conditioning. Barry, See, that time he waited. He looks for the referee and he gets nailed in. Then out of frustration, he yep. his uh, forearm. All right, here we go. Round number eight. Bob Sheridan with Barry Michael. Working with us, Paul Upham. And now again, the doctor takes a look at the eyes. That's about the fifth time the ref has dragged him over to see the doctor. Yep. I, as I said before the fight, I thought his eyes weren't too good. You know, he's got a fair bit of scar tissue there. But Nate Campbell, he's got to pull something out of the fire. Otherwise, I reckon it's over, Bob. Uh, he has no shot unless he can land a big right hand. And that can happen, folks, because Robbie, while he's looking terrific right now, he hangs that left hand low. And I don't like him wagging his head inside like that. It'll be a desperation punch by Nate. There it is. But it caught him high in behind the head. You know, it's there. Robbie can be nailed by a right hand, and he's got to be careful. He's so close to winning world title right now. But Nate is still a dangerous puncher. He's not out on his feet by any way, shape, or manner. Robbie's having his way out boxing him. Remember, Pete was in trouble back in the second round. And then the cut occurred over the right eye of Campbell in the fourth round. Then he had a point taken away in the sixth round. And then he was cut again in, his, in the sixth round. And his uh, Pete is having things by Campbell's in trouble. of the scheduled championship 12-round fight. Robbie does not want to get careless, though. Everything is going his way. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Robbie Peyton, Peyton absolutely relentless at the moment. 
That was a low blow too. Nate Campbell in desperate, desperate tough trouble here. Just about a minute to go in the eighth round. There's a good right hand. He did land on the left side of the jaw of Robbie Peden. It is there. If Nate can land it a few times, Robbie is really throwing caution to the wind because he's landing so many punches. All he cares about right now is offense. And maybe that's the way to try to finish this fight off. I just don't want to see anything happen. Do you see what I mean, folks, about that right hand? You saw what I mean, Barry. Big power. But Robbie's relentless and he's in superb condition. He weathered those shots well. He's on his way to the world title. But the frustration that Nate has put up but is that right hand again he loaded it up. This is where Nate wants to fight. And while Robbie seems to be beating him the punch on the inside, oh. Nate is still very dangerous with the right hand. Robbie just relentless on Absolutely relentless. Look at this eighth round action with 20 seconds to go in the eighth round. Are these guys working hard for the title? There's no quit Nate Campbell, and he's a beaten up fighter. He's a 